In this video, I'm gonna go over the new reworked Watts power plant which was just added a few days ago in Nuclear Tech Mod. It now has a completely new system for producing power, new fuel pellets and the heat system which is similar to RBMKs. So yeah, this is going to be a fun one. Without any further ado, let's get straight into it. Let's start with the components needed in order to build this reactor. So the main component is the Watts power plant core component, then 48 Watts reactor stability elements, 36 reaction chambers and 26 Watts reactor supercoolers. Now along with this you will need 3 stacks of high speed steel bolts and to use these bolts you will need the pneumatic rivet gun. So if I place the core component right here on the ground you can see that it displays a holographic image of the entire reactor and you can place the blocks accordingly but it's much preferable that you place this reactor above the ground or basically build it two or three blocks up from the ground because as you can see it has access ports on the top and on the bottom and the bottom access ports are pretty important so what i'm gonna do here is make a simple platform which is two blocks high up from the ground and basically that space that we have down here we will use to run our fluid pipes and item pipes. So here's the temporary structure done in the middle. And now on top of this, we can start building our reactor. So first place down the core component and then we can start placing our reaction chambers and the supercoolers. So once you have placed all of the components in the place, Finally place down the stability element and on the stability element we need to use our pneumatic rivet gun. So with the rivet gun right click on the stability element and there. This will convert the stability element into its riveted form and do this for all of the stability elements basically. And once this is done you can make the remaining two levels in a similar way. So I'm just gonna speed through this entire process. And it looks like I might have missed a single block right here. That's why this structure isn't complete. So as soon as I revert it, there. The Watts reactor will complete itself into a multi-block structure. Now once this is done, you can get rid of the bottom concrete blocks where we are going to connect pipes and replace them with either a grid or even solid blocks if you want to. But yeah, leave the gaps for connecting pipes here. So now that the structure is complete, let's take a look at the GUI of this reactor. So first we have a gauge which will show us the thermal units and 24 slots for placing the fuel pellets. Next we have the gauges for coolant, hot coolant and also poisonous mud. And as I told you before, it has connecting ports on the top and the bottom, but both of them are different. For example, coolant will go from the top, but hot coolant will only come out of the bottom. Same goes for the depleted pellets and poisonous mud. These things will only come out from the bottom of the reactor. So basically both the top and the bottom slots, they serve different purpose. Now, if we take a look at the fuel pellets for this reactor, you will see that there are many different types and there are also lead and boron pellets. So basically this reactor will function like an RBMK reactor. And in order to make these pellets, in order to make a simple MEU pellet, you will need four blocks of uranium fuel and a single block of graphite. And in a similar way, all the other fuel pellets are made. So the fuel pellets are expensive, definitely, but they are worth it as they will last for a long time. Now here I have made a simple system. Hot coolant will come out from the bottom of the reactor, go into the heat exchanger, from where coolant will again go in our Watts reactor. And this boiler will run a steam cycle through the turbine and water will then go back into the boiler. So yeah, basically once you have set up a simple heat exchanging system for circulating coolant like this, you can fill this reactor up with coolant. A single level of this reactor will take four barrels of coolant and once it's full you can get rid of the barrel because it's just going to be circulated. Now I'm going to fill this entire structure up with the MEU or medium enriched uranium fuel pellets. But as these are not self-igniting the reaction won't start. Also another reason the reaction won't start is because in order to run this reactor we need the watts pressure pump. So the watts pressure pump 
it goes on the top of the reactor on the top of the power plant and in order to power this pressure pump you need to give it a redstone signal on the very top now this can be anything a uh, wireless redstone torch or a lever but once you have given the signal now we need a self uh, heating or basically self igniting pellet like we need in the rbmk and as soon as i place this pellet all the other remaining pellets will start producing heat and they'll start depleting basically now flux is shared between all of them so the flux in the entire power plant here is going to be constant and now we are circulating coolant at a rate of 1200 millibuckets per second so this is enough to run our boiler here and as for the power produced with a full power plant of meu we are getting 356,000 he per second so yeah that's a single level of the watts power plant now for example if i turn this lever off this will turn off the reaction in the entire power plant and if i turn it back on in order to basically get it back up to heat again you will need a self-igniting pellet so yeah that's a single level of the watts power plant now if you want to scale this up you can stack it on top of each other so i'm going to get rid of the top connections and add two more levels and as you can see now the entire power plant is sharing the cooler so instead of four barrels now we will need total 12 barrels in order to sustain the entire power plant here we go it's full of coolant now placing the pressure pump on the top and this is now one structure kind of it will share coolant but it will not share fuel so what i mean by that is like for example if you place fuel in the very topmost slot it will fall down to the bottom but in order to start reactions in the individual levels uh, basically yeah, you will need to power individual levels and the reaction won't start if you just power a single level but now with three we are getting 3600 mini buckets per second of coolant and power production has went up to 1 million hg per second so yeah that's a threefold increase for the three levels that we have here and as you saw fuel pellets will fall down or will travel downwards in the bottom levels if they are empty you can use this fact in order to automate the fuel pellets and having a crate full of fuel pellets you can connect it to the topmost level and it will transfer fuel into the bottommost level as well now another byproduct will be poisonous mud and poisonous mud when processed in a gas centrifuge will give iron and lead and also you can process it into the foundry or the crucible in order to make the cmb steel so poisonous mud will also come down or basically it can be only extracted from the bottom slot and the reactor doesn't actually explode with heat but it explodes when the when it is like full of poisonous mud so make sure to get all of the poisonous mud out continuously and finally you can recycle the depleted pellets and it will give you a pellet of the higher order and bismuth along with it same goes for all the other fuel pellets as well so basically recycling them will give you a lot of materials so yeah that was it for the new watts power plant if you like the video please press that like button and also subscribe to the channel for more content like this if you have any suggestions leave them in the comment section below peace out and stay safe